hello welcome back to this channel so today in this video I would like to show you how to make an ellipse ellipse is an important shape in engineering and many other fields so for example ellipse shapes are used in buildings bridges and many th no, different objects so even though today we can make ellipse using computer software let us try to learn how ellipse was created before the computers arrived and still we need to know how ellipse can be created so before we start let me show you a property of ellipse so ellipse shape is something like this and here if we divide this like this this is called major axis this one and this is the minor axis and there is a point which is called focus on both sides and there is a property of this ellipse that a line which is known as directrix and this is focus so any point on the ellipse so let's say take this point so distance of this point a from f focus and distance from directrix so if we take the ratio here we call it x so ratio of af over ax so this ratio must be less than 1 so this is the property of an ellipse that any point the distance of this point from focus and directrix which is a line at certain distance from the focus so this distance is also fixed so the ratio of af over ax must be less than 1 so this is the property so we will utilize this property and we will try to see how we can draw ellipse by the drawing method so here we will draw an ellipse which is 50 millimeter an ellipse the focus is 50 millimeter from directrix and this ratio af over ax is actually 2 by 3 so we will use this ratio this is less than 1 so we will use this ratio of 2 by 3 and we will keep the focus of this ellipse 50 millimeter from the directrix so first of all we will draw a straight line so this will be the major axis of the ellipse and we will draw the directrix let's call this point as C and the focus is at 50 millimeter from the directrix so this will become focus now since the ratio we have got 2 over 3 so sum of these two numbers is 5 so we have to just find out the sum of these two numbers and we divide cf into five parts so as you know for division of a straight line into any number of segments we can use this method we divide this inclined line into five parts So basically we don't have to divide but we have to just mark five equal space points and then we have to draw parallel lines. So the last point with this So we have divided CF into 5 equal 
parts 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So out of this 5, we take the 3 parts from this side and we call it point A. So now we have got three parts here, two parts here. So we take this on our compass and draw an arc. So now we can see that this is three parts and this is two parts. So we have made an arc. So now from here to here is two parts. So if you take the ratio, for example, if I call it B, so ra ratio of BA over CA is two over three. So this we should remember. And now what we have to do is, at any point, so let's say I start from here, so now on this inclined line, this ratio of this divided by this will be 2 over 3. So wherever we want to uh, draw a perpendicular line here, so the ratio of this part and this part will be 2 over 3. So this is fixed. So now we have drawn this line. So now putting the sharp end of this compass at F, we So this is our first point which is on the ellipse. Now we can see that the distance of F to P1, this distance, is same as this distance. So this distance divided by, so this distance divided by the distance of this point from this line which is this distance. So this will be 2 over 3. So the ratio of F P1 divided by 1 C. Distance of this point or the distance of P1 from the directrix is C1. So this ratio P1 F over C1 is 2 by 3 because this distance is same as this distance. And we already know that this distance divided by this distance will be 2 over 3. So by following this process, now we can ensure that all the points that we will try to find out will have a ratio of 2 over 3. The ratio of the distance of this point from focus divided by distance of this point from the directrix. So we should just mark some points at some convenient distance. Now one more thing we can do is we have got this point P1 and on the other side on the other side we can get this point.
Now we will try to find out the second point on the ellipse. So we take this distance and from F as the center we cut this. Similarly we cut on this side. So we will follow this procedure until we get all the points on this ellipse. So this one doesn't cut this line, that means the end of this ellipse is somewhere here. So we can stop now. So now we have got several points which will all fall on the ellipse. And they all follow the same ratio of 2 over 3. So if we connect these points with a curve, then it will give us ellipse. So for connecting the curve, we will use a French curve. So a French curve is something like this. We can try to see how we can best draw an ellipse. So now this is the end of this major axis on this side and this is these are the two points at equal distance from the major axis. So we have to try to fit as much as possible. So for example, if I am fixing A, point A, then P1 also should match and in some way P2 also because this curve has to go smoothly.
So now this is the another end of this ellipse, the major axis. So we will try to make a smooth curve going from this half to this half. So we have drawn an ellipse with the property that any point on this ellipse, the ratio of the distance of this point from the focus divided by the distance of this point from the directrix is always 2 over 3. So this is one way of drawing an ellipse by the technical drawing method. There are some other methods as well. Thank you very much for your attention and if you have any question or comment, please do write them down below in the comment section. Thank you.